I'm Russ Wicks, world speed record holder, and everyone calls me the Speed King because I've broken a number of world speed records now, both on land and water. I've been racing my whole life. It started with, with motocross and um, karting and formula car racing, some indie car driving and uh, dragsters before. So a lot of disciplines, I think, have helped me become the person that is, is ideal for pushing the limits in order to adapt quickly and go out and break a world record. There's a lot of differences between breaking a world speed record on land and water. But for the most part, most of the disciplines are the same the ability to stay focused and the intestinal fortitude and what it takes to actually just put on the event and be successful breaking a record. Traveling at a high rate of speed on water, I've been over 221 miles per hour in an unlimited hydroplane. And as people know, the waves move around, the environment is ever-changing, the vehicle is, is sliding around. It's much like being you know, on a dirt track with like a sprint car, you're sliding around, but as you're hitting the, the waves, the impact loads are so extreme, it's just pounding, and you hear the bottom of the, the boat slapping the water. Boom, boom, boom. It's like being in a, in a barrel, a 55 gallon drum, rolling down a hill, hitting a bunch of, a bunch of you know, inconsistent terrain as you're rolling down the hill and bouncing. It's very violent and loud and extreme. In October of this year, 2007, we broke the fastest ever stock car world land speed record on the Bonneville Salt Flats. Right out of the box when we unloaded the car, our shakedown run was 216 miles an hour, which was ironic because Bobby Isaac, who established this record in 1971, that was his world record setting speed. So when we made the shakedown run, I wasn't even full throttle. We knew that we had a, a lot in the vehicle. Our very first run, we broke the record at 240 miles an hour on the first day, our first attempt. And then the next morning, we went out and upped the record from 240 to 244.9 miles per hour. And that's an average of not only over one mile, but both directions for a world speed record. We use the Canyon oil filter in our world speed record Dodge Charger, as well as the air filter. It was extremely valuable for us to have Canon air filters in our vehicle. We had a number of different sized filters that we tried out there. So we, we were able to quickly try some different size uh, filters and we needed the, the biggest amount of flow, large flow through the filters for optimum performance. But at the same time, because we had so much dust and dirt and, and uh, salt spray inside the engine area, it was important to keep our engine clean and protect the engine so we could break the world speed record. The environment at the Bonneville Salt Flats is not very friendly. It's, uh, it's dusty, the salt is really uh, silty. Uh, our performance with the engine was fantastic using the K&N oil filters. We uh, changed the oil and, and, and looked at it afterwards and it was, it was, it was perfect, it, it cleaned, the filter cleaned the engine and kept our performance optimal. Congratulations, We're planning to run the world speed record gasoline powered attempt in September of 2008. So we have a very aggressive schedule to, to build and, and implement uh, the different components in, type in, our, in our vehicle. I've always been one to want to go extremely fast and push the limits of technology and speed. That's why k and is a very important partner of ours, because they're always pushing the limits, making things better, and, and helping the racer to go faster. Uh, what better way to prove that you're the fastest than to break world speed records? <laughs>